Hello, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here with a short video on shortcuts for the draw tools. And this is a sketch that I did beforehand. And normally when I go in after I do my sketch, I'll go in with the ink brush and I'll just hand draw it, which is fine and good, but there are shortcuts if you wanna make your lines smoother. And we'll get to those in just a second. But the first shortcut is in when you're using the draw tool and you're holding down your left mouse button and control, you can erase without having to go to the eraser tool. The second shortcut is by pressing F and using either your mouse wheel or I'm using my Wacom tablet. Like by pressing my pen up or down, you can adjust the size of the brush without having to go to the top where it says radius and typing in that number every time. The third shortcut is by holding down shift in your left mouse button, you get to use the stabilized stroke and that helps you have more control while drawing and get smoother lines. Another shortcut if you wanna make a straight line while using the draw tool, you hold down alt with your left mouse button and you'll be able to make a straight line. So I finished the left side that was hand drawn using the stabilizer stroke. And on the right side, I'm going to be using the drawing tools at the bottom. So those green lines that you see, and they contain the line, polygon, arc, curve, box, and circle tool. Before I get started, I just wanted to show if you click on the top right, while you have a tool selected and click the thickness profile, you can actually adjust. When you click on the thickness profile and activate it, you have like this graph and you can adjust it however you want. So like right now I'm moving the left all the way to the top. So it will be, excuse me if I'm not mistaken, like top heavy. So again, you can adjust the graph however you want to make the stroke however you want. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in and use the curve tool, which is actually my favorite one at the bottom. So once you draw that, you'll get like these two blue dots and you can adjust it however you want. I think it's the most adjustable tool to use. And then once you have it how you want it, you press enter, or you can use the shortcut by pressing E and it will keep the line going. Well, as this video comes to an end, I hope you learned more about shortcuts when using the draw tools. I think there was five shortcuts that I named, but I'm going to fast forward this last part just to show you what the finished product looks like when I'm using just the, the curve tool. Can you tell a difference between hand drawn and using a curve tool? Hmm. I think my, the right side is a little bit smoother. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.